to my channel today I'm doing a video for you on couple goals and why being on the same page as your spouse is really really important for any successful relationship so we're gonna quickly touch on what being on the same page means and how you can get on the same page and then I'm gonna dive into the reasons why I think it's really really important and that you should think about you know diving a little bit deeper into this with your partner so stay tuned to hear all of that if you like this video obviously I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know about your thoughts on being on the same page do you struggle with that with your partner or is it something that you guys have perfected really well what's your top tip if so i would love for you also to subscribe to my channel now i'm putting out two videos a week um, and they're mainly on self-development self-improvement relationships and just general life topics if that's your kind of content click subscribe click the bell button next to it so you get notified of all my uploads and i'd love to see you back on the channel now being on the same page as your partner really means that you guys know exactly where you're heading in your relationship and in your life now for me i think this is really really straightforward now when you're with someone you're not just with them for the time you're actually with them for life otherwise what is the point of being with them and don't be afraid to think like that even in a new relationship don't be afraid to speak about your future goals that are 5 10 15 years down the line the person needs to know what what you want and what is important to you so that you guys can work together and work out if there's a mutual ground in between that now I think there's a three step process to getting on the same page as your partner and although these can take different times depending on what the goals are, it is really the same for every every kind of a level. The first one is to have mutual goals. So of course you guys have your own individual goals and these can be fine. You don't need to do these joined together, you just need to support your partner. For example, I've always really wanted to learn salsa dancing. I danced from the age of two and a half to 18, so dancing was a very big part in my life. Now that would be on an individual goals list for me. It's not something that my partner is particularly interested in and it's not something I want to force them to be interested in either. The same way I would have want them to force me to be interested in something to do with what they want to do. That's really, really important. Making sure you have your individual goals and you're on your own page first before you guys get together and make sure that you're heading in the same direction. Now, once you've done that, you need to get on the same page. And this is by making your mutual goals. In life, you're heading in a direction. Whether that be that you guys want to have kids together, whether that's you guys want to pay off credit card bills, you want to buy a house, you want to buy a new car, whatever your goals are as a couple, you need to be on the same page. And I would say you need to write a physical list. You guys need to sit down together and write a physical list about where you want to head in life. This is really, really important. And if you actually don't take the step, to figure out your couple goals, you'll never be on the same page. Now, when you work out these couple goals, you need to think about what your rewards are gonna be, and they need to be big rewards. So for example, is there an amazing holiday that you wanna go on? For me, it's Bora Bora. I would love to go to Bora Bora for 10 days and stay at the Four Seasons Hotel and just have a blast. But it's a very expensive holiday. It's a fair few thousand, and it's not something that you do every day. So for example, take that, do you decide that our goal as a couple is to get $50,000 in savings? Our reward for getting to 50,000 is that we will take five grand out of that and we will go on the dream holiday that we have been wanting to go on since we got together 10 years ago. You need to make sure that you have the reward so that you guys have something to aim for as well. There needs to be an enjoyment at the end that you guys can come together for. And this helps especially when the goal might be a little bit more focused towards one partner. If you have a partner that is trying to better their health and you particularly aren't that fussed, you're in pretty good shape, but your partner's not, but you both need to make changes to your diet to ensure that they get their goal, that is a couple goal together, but you need a big reward for both of you so that it keeps the other partner on board. The third step of being on the same page as your partner is really, really simple, and this is just to reinforce these goals um, really, really regularly. I would say you need to do this at least once a week. Personally, my partner and I, we talk about our goals every single day. It's just something that we have grown accustomed to. We talk about it in the morning and the evening. I find that that keeps us on the right track and we know where we're going. It also holds us accountable. So if we are trying to save money, for example, for an investment, 
if one of us is spending unnecessary money willy-nilly then someone else can call that person up and say hey I don't really think you should be doing that remember these are our couple goals this is what we're going for this is the reward so why don't we stay on the same track if you're not constantly talking about it then you never have the opportunity to pull someone up and remind them and therefore you guys could go off piste now remember that goals do change all of the time. So this is another reason why it's really important to check in with your partner at least once a week. It could be that you wanna move the goalpost of one of your targets as a couple. And that's okay, just talk about it. Things evolve as you go on in your life. We evolve as humans, our relationships evolve, our wants and our needs do as well. So it's only natural that our goals and aspirations would change too. Now I just want to get into a few of the reasons why I think it's so important to be on the same page as your partner. And the main one really is to stop bickering and fighting in the relationship. I personally think that we have got into a culture of being really, really outspoken with our opinions. I'm not saying by any means that one side of the relationship needs to be silent. But I do think there is an element of remembering to swallow your pride at some points and knowing when something is worthwhile arguing over. That's much easier said than done. I appreciate that. And it's something that I have struggled with myself in the past. So I understand if for you that sounds a little bit out of character and something that you wouldn't normally live your life by. But the benefit of that is that you don't distract from your main goals. If you don't know where you guys are going as a couple and you aren't on the same page with things, that is gonna cause friction because you're not gonna know whether that little comment was worthwhile speaking about or that action was worthwhile bringing up as a problem. If you can sense that it's gonna be a one-off, I, I keep quiet. Rather than bring it up there in the heat of the moment when it really doesn't matter that much, I just keep myself to myself, I'll swallow my pride and I'll carry on. This is by no means me being a submissive person. This is just me recognizing when is the right time to speak up and when it is the right time to speak up, I will voice my opinion. But the main thing is to recognize when it is important and worthwhile to speak up and cause that conflict. Another reason why getting on the same page as your partner is so important is to recognize who is on the grid at that time. By this I mean who is most important at that point in time to get you guys to your goal. Okay, so take this example, I'll just bring this off the top of my head. You guys are a couple and you live in Sydney at the moment and you're on a combined wage of $100,000 a year and your partner gets offered a job in Cairns, so anyone that's not in Australia, a fair distance away they're gonna end up bringing in more money but you're gonna have to leave your job and you're gonna have to leave your family taking that job means that you guys can buy that house that you wanted a lot sooner now because you guys are on the same page and you know what your end goal is it's easy to recognize who's on the grid at that moment it's not you leaving your friends and your family that should be the topic of discussion it should be your partner the fact that they can bring in enough money into the family for you guys to be able to buy that house you wanted sooner than before and that should be more important than the family and friends that you're leaving behind. Now if you guys don't know what your goals are and you aren't on the same page that is going to cause conflict because obviously you aren't going to want to leave that environment. You're going to want to stay there, you know you love Sydney, you've lived there your whole life and you have friends and family there. Of course you wouldn't want to move. You won't see the bigger picture and that's going to cause conflict in your relationship. So sometimes we have to remember that getting on the same page means that you might have to take a step back from things that you want to achieve in your own life. If you both have businesses, it might mean to develop one of them further and be way more profitable. You need to give up the time on the other. Or does that mean that you stay at home and you look after the family and the house and you deal with all the errands so that your partner can focus on their job more because that's the vehicle for you guys to make more money. On a happier note, being on the same page ultimately brings more joy and happiness into the relationship relationship. It means you both know where you're going, where you're heading and what your goals are in life, the things that you enjoy and the things that you don't enjoy and you guys can complement each other perfectly. I think that us being on the same page means that we can talk about our goals without any kind of embarrassment. We know what's important, we know where we're heading and by having that understanding of each other it gives you the safe space to be able to voice your opinions better and give a bit more reasoning behind it. If you don't feel like you're on the same page as your partner and then they question you on something you're instantly going to bite back and say well you don't even know that that's important to me or you don't even know what I want to do in my life so it's really really important 
for them to know so that when they come to you and say, look, I don't think this is the best thing for you to do, you can say, okay, well, they know where I'm going with, with my life as well and they know what my goals are. So I'll take that information on board. It allows someone to come from a safe space. Now financial success might not be really, really important to you and if it's not then this next point probably isn't really relevant. But to me financial success and business success in my life is really, really important. Having nice things and not having to worry about money, anything like that, is something that I really enjoy and inspire for in life. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We get told a lot that being materialistic is, is an old age mentality, but it's really, really not, especially if you look at at the state of social media at the moment, you'll quickly realize that a lot more people are materialistic than they like to let off, especially on Instagram. So we'll just keep that little side point there. Now I love Elena and Grant Cardone, and if you don't know who they are, they're basically a power couple in the business industry. Grant himself is one of the best salesmen in the world, and Elena is the woman behind the man who has got so much done. And she talks a lot about how to build an empire from behind the scenes, how to help your partner, how to go through things as a union. And she really touches on the idea that a solopreneur is not really a thing. It's a lie that we've been sold by society and by an industry. And that together with your partner, you can get a lot done and that you in fact need to work together with your partner on joint goals to achieve everything that you want in life. Now, I think this idea is really, really important because if you want to be really successful in your life, I do feel like you need someone to do that with you. Now, that's my controversial point. People might really, really argue with me that they can do it by themselves, and I'm sure you can, but I do believe that there's a level that you will reach and you can't go above that. And I personally think that getting on the same page as your partner is really, really important because it allows you to go forward as a team and achieve these goals that might be above and beyond what you can do for yourself. And that's in no way saying that you are unable to do something or incapable is probably the better word. That's in no way saying this. It just means that sometimes you have to recognize that you need two people to drive that forward, drive that tank forward and get that end goal. And that's okay. And that's why I think it's really, really important to make sure that you guys are talking about things that are important to you both and where you guys want to head and what you need to do to get there. So I hope that's helped you guys out a little bit on why you need to get on the same page with your partner and some tactics on how you can do that as well. I just think at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you guys are heading in the same way. You don't really need to be regimental about the way that you assess these things and the way that you approach it. You just need to make sure that you're sitting down, you're having a conversation and you know where each other are at and your aspirations in life. At the end of the day, you should want the best out of your partner and they should want the best out of you. So hopefully you can use some tips from this video to get you guys there. Now, again, if you really love the video, I would love for you to leave me a thumbs up, give me a comment, let me know down below what some of the things are that you guys talk about in your relationships, in regards to your goals and your visions for your future. Subscribe to the channel so you can get all the upcoming content and I would love to see you back here again.